Hello fellow duelists, this is Shadow of the Moon, and today I'm going to be showing you an updated deck profile of my agent deck for September of 2024. So, this deck did get hit quite a bit with uh, banning of Baron, banning of Borlo, Savage Dragon, and Appaloosa. So, it did take quite a hit uh, with the extra deck especially, but this deck is still incredibly consistent and can really bring out a lot of good synchro monsters, including the Master Flare Hyperion and a lot of the other cards in this deck so it does still it can hold up to its own and if you are a fan of light decks or agent decks and you know you want to try something a little bit different i would highly recommend giving this deck a try this deck is a ton of fun and is actually one of my favorite decks uh outside of the obvious black wings like if i'm not playing a dark deck obviously i'm going to be playing an agent deck if i can play any of those so without any further ado let's go ahead straight and straight on into the deck profile so first off you got three copies of the agent of mystery earth this is a uh normal card this is the standard card in the deck and when this card is normal summoned, you can add an agent card from your deck to your hand and if you have sanctuary in the sky you can add a master hyperion instead it is a level two tuner so it works really well with the deck and one of the other cards that's also the bread and butter of the deck is the agent of life neptune so agent of life neptune is a great 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 can't standard card so what this guy does is this card you can discard this card to special summon an agent monster from your hand or graveyard except the agent of life and then if sanctuary sky is on the field or in the graveyard you can special summon this special summon one hyperion monster instead neither player can tribute a monster to tribute a monster to special summon with this effect into the end phase of the opponent's turn this card is banished but you can add a sanctuary in the sky from your deck to your uh hand which is really really good for this deck because this deck you only need one sanctuary in the sky to be able to actually function with the deck because you have so many different cards to actually pull sanctuary in the sky directly from the deck so obviously you have the agent of creation venus so this card is busted because you pay 500 light points you can special summon the mystic shine ball from your uh deck from hand deck or actually from the hander deck and it just works so well because you're going to be using these you're going to use this for link spider link spider is going to go into a different link monster or any other card that you want so it really does help out a lot and agent of venus is very easy to bring out it's a level three so i mean with one of these and then this for 1500 life points you can special summon up to three of the age mystic, uh, mystic shine balls which is a very very good very good idea and then you've got one copy of Agent of Destruction of Venus, which basically duplicates Agent of Venus's effect um, if you have them in your graveyard. And then you also have the Agent of Entropy, Uranus. This is a very good card in here because you can send a Agent monster from your deck to the graveyard. And actually this monster's level becomes the one that you had until the end of the turn. And then also since it is a tuner type, you can use that if you have Sanctuary in the Sky. This card can be special summoned from your hand, so it does work really well with the deck. And then obviously you're just wanting the one Master Hyperion and one uh, Master Hi or Majesty Hyperion. So one Master, one Majesty, that's all you need. Um, these guys are really, really good. This card can get rid of cards on the field, and this card is really good as well in the deck. Honestly, it's a lot of fun. This deck is not that complicated. It's actually pretty easy to uh, learn. And then for the non-agent cards, we have three Diviner of the Heralds. Diviner of the Heralds is really, really good in this deck. This card is normal special summon. You can send a fairy type monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard. And if you do, increase the attack this card's level by the monster's level until the end phase of the turn. This card is tributed. You can special summon two or lower fairy type monsters from your hand or deck, except Diviner of the Herald. So this works really well with the deck. Allows you to um, increase its level. It allows you to modify its level. It allows you to special summon the agent monsters, the lower level ones. And then obviously you're going to be in having one Trius Harkiri, which I'm glad that I put this thing back in the deck, and I do apologize if I butchered its name. So, during your main phase, if this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can, quick effect, you contribute up to three fairy type monsters, special summon this card, and vanish it when it leaves the field, and then you can apply the following effects. You get plus two, destroy one card your opponent controls, plus three, draw two cards. You can only use the effect once per turn, so this is a really good way to get in draw power and destroy cards on your opponent's side of the field. And then the cute little pig, Boot Booten. So Booten, you send to the graveyard, and you can make a fairy-type monster on your side of the field, um, a tuner monster, until the end of turn. So that's actually really good. And then obviously the last one is here, Archlord Christia, which locks your opponent. And no one can special summon monsters um, at all, which works really well with the deck, obviously. It's a good lockdown strategy. So that's going to be it for the monsters. Let's move on to the spells and traps. Obviously just one a Sanctuary in the Sky, because this card can be brought out so easily um it's not even funny and then you have three copies of the course in the sky or sorry not 
three copies. You've got one copy, of course, in the sky, which is a really good card. And then three copies of the Sacred Waters of the Sky. So the Sacred Water of the Sky, activate Sanctuary in the Sky directly from your deck. Or add one monster that mentions Sanctuary in the Sky from your deck to your hand. Then if Sanctuary in the Sky is already on the field, in the graveyard, you can gain 500 line points for each Hyperion and the agent monster you control. If this monster that mentions Sanctuary in the Sky would be destroyed by battle, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. And you can only activate it once per turn. So that works really good. It allows you to automatically play a Sanctuary in the Sky directly from the deck. Another way to search for it. And also protect your monsters. I mean, th this was why you, we only need one section in the sky in this deck because there's so many ways to bring it out and just so many things that you can do with it. And then you've got one foolish burial. Obviously, this is to put boo. This is to put Trius or Bootin into the graveyard. You've got two copies of Fallen Sanctuary, and then just one copy of Divine Punishment. I didn't want to overload the deck too much. Um, Divine Punishment, obviously, if you control Sanctuary in the Sky, you can negate a Spell Trap or Monster Effect. And then Fallen Sanctuary shuts off on its Monster Effect um, if you have Sanctuary in the Sky on the field, and it's continuous. And now we're going to move on to the Hand Trap. So, obviously, in this portion of the video, this is completely optional what you choose to put in your deck. So, But for me, I'm putting three Herald of Orange Light since it is not banned. Three Ash Blossoms of Joyous Spring. And then I decided to go with a cool little tech card and add Dark Roller No More. Um, I wanted to add Dark Roller No More because if you are going second, this deck does struggle going second. But if you've got Dark Roller No More, you can kind of help with that just a little bit, which will help you. And now we're going to move on to the extra deck. So the extra deck, obviously two copies of Master flare hyperion and one copy of the executor of the underworld pluto so these are going to be your um standard cards in the deck if you wanted to knock out one of the master flares you could for something else then you got one sword soul uh supreme sovereign changing this is a really good card you can banish increase the attack all right then you've got trisha dragon of the ice berry it is not hard to bring this card out because you can easily make a level nine in this deck and it also kind of hand rips your opponent's cards You've got one Herald of the Arc Light, so Herald of the Arc works really well with this deck. You've got Cupid Pitch, which will change its level. Really good tech card in this deck. And then for the non-Synchro Monsters, you've got two Protector of the Agents, Moon. This is a great, great addition to this deck. Um, so if this card is Link Summoned, you can send a Sanctuary in the Sky or one card that mentions it from your deck to the graveyard. If Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field or in the graveyard, you can add an Agent of Mystery Earth from your deck to your hand. Instead, you can tribute a fairy type monster, then target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. So, this is really good, especially if you want to be able to grab Agent of Mystery Mars um, or Earth, which works and helps really well with the deck because obviously that's going to be one of the key cards in the deck. I mean, Agent of Mystery Earth is pretty much that, and the Agent of Life are the card starters that you want to see in your opening hand so that definitely is something that you're going to easily want to be able to do and then you've got celestial knight lord parsath really good tech card in this deck you've got herald of mirage light obviously and then for the link spider so you can turn one of those mystic shine balls into a link monster and it has an effect and then you've got the ip mascarena and the nightmare unicorn i do not have sp little knight in this deck so i just decided to go with something a little different and then lastly sky calvary centauria so this is for your uh, rank two plays because you do play some rank twos in the stack which actually does benefit you all right so that's gonna be it for this deck profile i hope you enjoyed it um this deck is a ton of fun i love the fact that agent decks finally did get so much support after so many years and that it actually is pretty good um I mean, obviously, I would like to be able to see more, but, you know, you're not always going to be able to see that. But I think the deck can work really well, even with Appaloosa and Baron and Borlo Savage Dragon being banned um, and even Link Karibo. You still can make a ton of plays, and it does work quite well with the deck. So I still think that this deck is a ton of fun, and I would recommend anybody that would want to uh, pick this deck up and play it to definitely pick it up and give it a try. If you especially like Synchro decks and you like decks that are a little bit... Um, more like you know they're more fun they're uh you can still do a whole lot and everything and it isn't overpowered and you don't have a thousand negates because you do have herald of the orange lights and you do have like ash blossoms and stuff in there and they were in the normal hand traps but most of the cards in here don't negate stuff it just destroys stuff or banishes it which is still that's still pretty pretty cool so all right that's going to be it for this deck profile hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching i just want to say thank you and give a shout out to everybody that always watches these videos and just everybody that is always appreciated and stuck around on this channel you guys rock and i would definitely not be here if it wasn't for you 
you guys definitely help make the channel and that is why I try to get back to you as much as I'm able to by continuing to make these videos and also by continuing to do box openings and me and Dolphy just kind of goof around and make do box openings and stuff so I do have some things planned for the um, holiday season I'm gonna see what I can come up with uh, because you know Yu-Gi-Oh is expensive so <laughs> we're gonna see what we can do with that but all right that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time later